We are here today at Disney's Beach Club Resort to officially kick off our trip to California for D23 Expo and Disneyland. We will be staying here for one night before we take the Mirrors Connect over to the airport and then eventually fly to Disneyland. It's gonna be very exciting. We are already checked in. Our room is already ready. It's, it's exciting. I guess we're just gonna hang around here, see some things, enjoy the resort. And then tomorrow morning is when we're gonna be heading over to California, so. I think it'll be good. We don't have a ton planned for today. I think we're just gonna spend some time around the resort. But first things first, we do need to head up to our room and get settled. I think these rooms were refurbished too, so probably pretty nice. This room is chocked full of different amenities. A fridge, pretty good sized closet here. Decent amount of storage. Three different beds. A bathroom with a shower, a toilet, and two sinks. First mate Goo is out here. First mate. Trying to. I can almost see the corn dog standing. <laughs> yeah. And something to point out about the Beach Club Resort. This right here is the Beach Club. This is the Yacht Club. So they are pretty much like partner hotels, basically kind of completing the own thing. And you can see right here, Beach Club does have villas. So they have their DVC as well. But one of the main attractions staying at this resort is the big pool. I don't know if I'll make it out there tonight, but their pool is like... I don't know. I, don't, <laughs> I tried to go a little bit ago, and it was so busy. I yeah. just left. Their pool is like the biggest pool you'll ever see. And I love this art like with them in the pool. Yeah. Because it's obviously the pool. You have the life jackets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's this exactly is great. How it's laid out. This is awesome. Well, now that we're settled in our room, I feel like it's kind of proper to explore the resort a little bit. Yeah. Kind of get the fun going a little bit. I know it's kind of fun. We've been having a pretty busy couple of days, but... Other than relaxing, I think we're just gonna kind of take in all the amenities of this resort, also just seeing what else is going on. But um, yeah, I love this like floor, like this carpet. You kind of see, kind of hard to see, but that's like Donald's footprint. So it's kind of cool. It's like all beach inspired, but you have a little bit of like characters mixed in. Give a little context as to where we are. This is the main lobby right there. Those doors over there are gonna be the entrance where you come in at the front. Right over here is the elevators where we just came down, just past that blue sign. And then past these elevators here leads straight into the gift shop slash quick service here at the Beach Club. One of my grievances of that resort area is there's not really a great quick service. They all kind of serve like deli sandwiches. Yeah, this quick service is kind of weird. It's like half store, half quick service, and they don't really have any real like food. The food is an afterthought. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like um, I'm, there's never that many good quick service. There's a lot of great sit downs in this area. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever it is. When I was walking around, I did notice I like this. They have like this thing. It's a thing that holds these papers, which shows all the recreational activities for this resort. I feel like every single other resort, they kind of have like a sign somewhere and you have to like search for that sign and it's never where you want it to be. So um, this is cool. You can kind of take one to your room, look at everything. You can see they do tie-dye, they do a variety of different other stuff. Oh, and tonight there's a mystery movie. Nice. Oh. See, this, this, as you guys can see, the Beach Club is a place of never-ending excitement. Yeah, so, is, yeah. what more could you want? This is great. I also really love like the art behind the front desk. It's kind of like classic beach, but you can have like Mickey. That one has Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. That's cool. Like it's still like all going to this like more deluxe beach feel. But you still have a little bit of character there, which is pretty fun. Coming the opposite direction of the gift shop, you'll come over to Cape May, which is a sit-down seafood buffet. And if you keep going just past Cape May to the left, this is where you'll find the pool. This pool is absolutely massive. It includes a lazy river, a pirate-themed slide. I think there's even a portion of the pool that is sand bottom. You can see they have like volleyball over here and all kinds of stuff. And this pool is actually so popular that you do need a wristband to get into it. You gotta show your room key and they scan it and then they'll give you the wristband. You do have to get one of these every single day. They change the color every day. Another really nice thing I noticed about this pool area is they actually have servers that you can order drinks and I assume like snacks and stuff from the pool bar. So whether you wanna come out here and like swim and play around or you just wanna sit out here and relax and get a drink and read a book or whatever, it's a very nice relaxing area. Are you relaxing goo? That's pretty good. Yeah. Every single time I come to this pool, I'm literally shooking with shock. Mm -hmm. Cause it's, it's like a little mini ocean. Yeah, it's big. pretty much. Like, there's everything, there's a sand bottom, there's the lazy river. Like it will take a solid 10 minutes to walk a full circle around this pool. 
Um, probably because it's hard to walk around in general, but like in general, there's just a lot to do around here. Well, after much discussion about what we're doing next, I am getting very hungry. Yeah, it's so getting late. It's getting later, and we decided we actually got a reservation for Beaches and Cream over here right next to the pool. This is like a classic place we've been many times before, but um, we're hungry. We just want to go in, get some food, kind of enjoy some things. Yeah. What do you think? I'm excited. They yeah. have good ice cream. They have kind of just standard food, but... Wait, you're going to get the kitchen sink? Maybe. Yeah. Well, we'll see. <laughs> So either way, we're gonna grab some food here, enjoy a little bit more of the resort, and then we'll just see what else we get into. So as we showed, the pool is right there. That's a giant, pretty much everything over there. And then over here to the right is where Beaches and Cream Soda Shop is gonna be, just right here. Now it is a sit down restaurant, so if you are eating here, you're either gonna have to have a reservation or do a walk up. But if you are looking to get some ice cream to go, they also do have a to-go window over here as well, where they can get most of all the different things they have indoors as far as the ice cream go. But that being said, with reservations like right now, we're gonna check in, hopefully get in soon, and we'll go from there. I am pretty devastated that they got rid of the tables. Remember the yeah. tables they used to look like? They looked like ice cream cones, <laughs> I think. So yeah, like the top of it, it just looked like an ice cream cone. Now they're just these generic ones, but looks like we are checked in. Hopefully we'll be getting called here soon, but I think it'll be good. Well, we are seated, and I am honestly like the most hungry I've ever been in my life. Yeah. Like Matt's hungry, you're tired and hungry because mm -hmm. Uh, we had a long last couple of days. We were up late packing last night. That being said, we are going to still keep the fun going here. If you've never been to Beaches and Cream, basically what they have is kind of like what you'd expect from a soda shop. So you have like burgers, grilled cheeses, all like the classic, like almost diner food. Something I will point out, they also do have chili cheese tots. So they have a variety of different today's specials, which I don't know. Last, last time I was here, it was the same special, so I don't know how they, they changed that. But they also have french fries, potato tots, onion rings, and then of course everybody comes here for the desserts. As the back of the menu also says, they also are home of the kitchen sink. Yeah, I've actually gotten the kitchen sink before yeah. and I can link that video below. Yeah. But it is literally a kitchen sink with everything in it, but the kitchen sink, because it's in the kitchen sink. Yeah. It's every ingredient in the house, a whole can of whipped cream, I think like eight scoops of ice cream. Yeah, whenever it happens, like the lights turn off. Yeah. So if somebody gets one, we'll kind of show it to you yeah. guys. Yeah. Another one of my favorite things here at Peaches and Cream, they do have like your classic Coke, all your different sodas, but you can add like flavors. Yeah, they have like syrups yeah. that you can get. So I got cherry vanilla Coke and it's actual, like they have the syrups back there. So I think they put like cherry and vanilla syrup in my Coke. So it's really good. It's like, I think they have that steak and shake too. <laughs> but um, I enjoy it. Looks like Goo's taking a look at the menu. Any ideas what you want, Goo? I would just go with the burger. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's nothing special. It's a classic burger. It's yeah. decent. Sometimes I like to get the grilled cheese and tomato soup, but I'm looking for something more hearty, so I probably won't get that today. Yeah. Plus we have ice cream too. Oh, that's so. true. Yeah. Another thing I want to talk about: the kitchen sink is thirty-eight dollars, mm -hmm. but a normal Sunday is twelve fifty. Yeah. So yeah. if you're coming with a family and you all want ice cream, I mean, a kitchen sink might be the way to do it. Well, our food has officially arrived here. Yeah. We both ended up getting the burger, so nothing too special here. Um, I will note one thing. I think they know me at this point. They gave Matt the pickle and they didn't give me a pickle. No pickle for so no pickle for me, which yeah. is good. But we also did get the, the special of the day. Yeah. So you never know. You could come back tomorrow and this could not be on the menu. You never know. I Chances mean, it are it will, but yeah. You want to try one out for us? We're good. We've gotten them several yeah. times before. They're yeah. always nice. Something I'll also note, the fries here are, are great. Like these are like big. They're like um, kind of steak fries. Almost, yeah. Like red ramen. Like red ramen. But these are good. These are, you, you have fries, you have a burger. I think we're pretty, we're off to a good start. Looks like Matt tried his burger. Yep, it's yeah. a burger, it's a standard burger, but look at what Goo's doing. What? He's no. got some fry on his burger there. I, I feel like this is something like classic. I used to put fries, I used to put fries on my grilled cheese too. Oh. That was a good way to do it. Maybe I should put these on my burger. You could try, yeah, that might be good. Some chilies and tops. The burger patty here is very thick, which is also pretty nice. As we said, it's nothing special, but it's a good burger if you're here. 
easy dinner. Very nice. Pretty good. I also like how this place has like the ketchup bottles. I don't know, I don't know what it is about it, but squeezing it out of like one of these plastic ketchup bottles kind of adds to the experience. Also, I'm rediscovering how good these are. These are actually pretty decent. Yep. The nice. chili cheese, everything is good. As we said, you're not gonna wanna come here for the food. I think you'll definitely come here for the ice cream. But the food's not, it's not terrible, it's just classic. Well, the table has been cleared. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm trying to make some room for dessert. I gotta do some stretches. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I always wanna try something new here at Peaches and Cream, but every single time I come, I always end up getting the same Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. There's certain ones, like they have a lot of them, but there's certain ones that you kinda of just have to get. Yeah. Like, I always get the No Way Jose. It's peanut butter hot fudge with vanilla and chocolate ice cream, and then peanut butter and chocolate chips. I get it with just vanilla ice cream. That's the best way to get it. Sometimes extra peanut butter. Didn't go for that today, but yeah. that's the that's the best option. I, I always go with the mudslide, so it's pretty it's pretty similar to the No Way Jose, but yeah. instead of chocolate and peanut butter, it's just like brownies and more more chocolate. A so. gooey, chewy brownie covered with hot fudge ice cream, chocolate sandwich cookies, and whipped cream. Yeah, so it's like an Oreo twist mm -hmm. on the No Way Jose, so. But either way, we're getting the full beaches and cream experience here today before all our chaos tomorrow. It'll be pretty good. And just for reference, for so people know what I was talking about, there's a look at one of the kitchen sinks. This um, this family right next to us pretty much ate every single drop of it. But um, I'll say, looking at it right now, it doesn't look very big. But one time we got it, and between the two of us, without even eating any food, mm -hmm. we could barely finish it. We finished it, but it yeah. was hard, yeah. yeah. Lucky for us, we're not getting that tonight, so we're just going to enjoy what we get. I'm always shocked. Like, even if you don't get the kitchen sink, they always... These Sundays are massive. Yeah, they're really big. This is 12.50, by the way. Mm, and like, bad. this is my hands. Yeah, you can take the cherry if you want. I'll take the cherry. Make cherries. Yeah, but I mean, this is massive. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this all. One thing I will mention, the ice cream you are getting here is just Edie's ice cream, so it's nothing that like special or spectacular. But really when you combine it all together, like the whole experience of being here at Beaches and Cream and like the decorations and everything. And the topping. Yeah. You have a lot I, of toppings. I think it's a good yeah. experience, yeah. Um, I finished my Sunday. Yeah. It was good. I'll say sometimes if you eat like a full meal and you've eaten already and like these Sundays can actually be a lot. So yeah, you could probably share one. You could probably share a Sunday. You could probably share a meal and yeah. eat a Sunday. Uh -huh. um, everything works here, so there we go. Well, overall, it's a very fun design here. I think it was a lot better like when it was smaller. I think what they did was, I think over here, there used to be a wall and it used to be more kind of small and a little bit more contained. I kind of missed the original design. I am, however, very glad they kept this. This is a very fun touch to it. Honestly, I think it's one of my favorite things in the restaurant. But there you go, that was our dinner. It was pretty good. I will say it was about $100. Yeah. It was like 90 I mean, dollars. That's so. how much it is around here. Like, yeah. if you were to go pretty much anywhere around Disney properties to yeah. sit down, that's how much it would be. Um, that being said, we got, we got pretty much an appetizer. We got two entrees and then dessert, like a giant dessert, too. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that's the worst thing we ever had. I was pretty happy with what we got. Yeah. But I think from here, we're probably going to start to kind of get ready for the night because we have an early morning. So I think we're probably going to eventually make our way up, get some sleep. We didn't sleep very much last night because mm -hmm. we were packing until like 2 a.m. But before we do go back to our room, I know the question you guys are all asking. Goo, what is the mystery movie? Gosh, oh. I'd like to know. So we'll stop over by the movie, we'll show you guys where you watch the movie, and then afterwards I think we'll be off to our room, get ready for tomorrow, and I, I think we have a good plan for today. But it's kind of cool, like right now the sun is starting to set, so you're kind of seeing across the water, the boardwalk is starting to light up. This is one of my favorite times to like experience this Epcot resort area because everything all comes to life at night, kind of brings like another, another feel to it, very much like the parks where like sometimes it looks great during the day, but at night, like, it's completely different. But just for reference of where we are, that is the lobby right there. There's Cape May. There's the giant pool over there. So if you come all the way over here, there's going to be this walkway. That's yeah. going to be how you get to Epcot. That's how you get to the Skyliner station. And then following this path with these lights pretty much right in front of the pool itself is where they usually put the movie. But you can see right now, this is usually where it is. So you see all those chairs right there. Let me see if I can zoom in really quick. All like these chairs on the sand are pretty much like seating from the movie. And then right over to the right, that's gonna be where they're gonna have an inflatable screen. That being said, it looks like there was some sort of change. I'm not sure if it was a weather issue or if it just, 
they just felt like doing it. Tonight's movie will be shown in the solarium, which is kind of their indoor recreational activity. So if there is any like storms in the area, that is something that could happen. But if you are staying at this resort, this is usually where the movie usually happens. Over here by the giant pirate ship. And then right here is where they do usually their campfire as well. I'm not sure if Matt pointed out when he was showing the pool earlier, but this is, this is incredible. There are pretty much two pools in this pool area. So over there's that giant big circle that we showed earlier. And then over here, there's kind of a smaller pool and there's this giant pirate ship. And believe it or not, this pirate ship is actually a water slide. So you can actually climb to the top of the pirate ship and then you go through that sail and it leads you into the second pool. So I don't really know what's going on, but this is just such a cool thing. And um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Well, we have returned back to the room and I did my research. Uh, for those who don't know, the solarium is basically their seating area right off the lobby. Um, it's pretty much they have seating, they have a TV. So like usually during the day, I think they play like like cartoons on the TV so kids can watch them if you're ever just hanging around the resort. But I went over to investigate. They were just playing the movie on the TV screen. Uh, there weren't too many people there. Something I did find interesting, though, they did have like candy for sale as well. So they had like M&Ms and different things just for sale for like five dollars and drinks which i've never seen before for like disney movies what are they called like movies under the stars but the mystery movie was indeed frozen 2. i know you guys are all surprised it's, it plays all the time but um either way i love a good mystery that was pretty cool yeah i mean seriously what more could you want we had a great day here today uh, of course this wasn't like a full resort day but we got to enjoy some things check in enjoy a little bit of the amenities and get some dinner as well so I think it was pretty good. It's such a great view though, to be able to look out your window, see all the different things. Uh, right now fireworks are gonna be starting soon, but you really can't see them. I think they'd be technically over there because that's where Epcot is, but we could probably even hear the fireworks going off. We're just so close to Epcot, which is awesome. So those lights in the distance, that's the boardwalk. Those lights there will be leading you to boardwalk or Epcot, just makes a circle around. So, um. Yeah, I mean, you really can't beat this location. I know, I wish we could have had longer to stay here to kind of show you guys all the different, how easy it is to get to Epcot, but you really can't beat the location here. Well, I have officially gone in the bed, and I can say this is pretty comfortable. I'll say there is like a little bit of a difference between like different Disney hotels beds, but this is pretty nice. And one thing I did notice, something I didn't talk about earlier, this will flip, there we go. The TV is actually one of these new smart TVs, so it welcomes you with your family name, and if you select, it has that fun artwork of the resort itself with Epcot behind it. These are pretty cool. These are smart TVs. You can actually put, like, Disney Plus on your TV as well. But, I mean, everything's here. You have the TV. You have all the things you'd want from a resort or hotel. Um, it was a very fun night here tonight. I'm glad we got to start our D23 trip here at Disney World, so it was awesome. With that being said, I think I'm pretty tired. We had a pretty good day here today, so I think... As of now, we're gonna go to bed. Uh, this video is not over yet. We're gonna take you guys over to the airport, show you guys our trip to California. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Until then, have a great night, everybody. I'm gonna turn this light off. Good night. You ready to go, Goo? Oh, uh, it, was, it was morning. We woke up. Yeah. I'm trying to check. They keep changing these things on the yeah. 23. You can get reservations for yeah. the panels, but you so have to keep refreshing. They had this RSP. It's called RSP. You mm -hmm. had to like tell them what you wanted, and then they'd like it's a lottery system, and they tell you which ones you got. Yeah. And we only we only got one each. Mm -hmm. So um, if anyone cancels, we can check here to see if we got any. Yeah. So um, I've been kind of stacking a couple. I have a couple mm -hmm. extra ones here, but yeah, we're just it's it's been a morning. It's been an exciting morning, but I'm awake, which is great. Yeah, and it's almost time to go. Yeah. All right, we have made it on our Mirrors Connect here. This is gonna take us to the airport. Are you excited, Goo? So this is pretty much like the third party replacement for the Magical Express. Yeah, yeah. So it's just a bus that'll take you to the airport. You do have to pay for it, but I think it was only like $15. $15 a person. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a little bit different than Uber. Sometimes if you book an Uber, you don't know when they're gonna come and you just don't really know what's gonna happen. Mm. Especially if you have an early flight sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Ubers aren't available in the morning. So this is good. Yep. So in total, it's about $32 for both of us to do this. And pretty much all you do is you go on the website, on the Mirrors Connect, we'll put it in the description for those wanting yeah. to book one. 
but you just pretty much go on there you see where you're going from where you're going and um yeah they just give you a time that the bus will arrive and then when the bus comes just pretty much pulls up to your hotel you give them your luggage and then you just come on so it's pretty simple like as, as i said very similar to magical express but just pretty much a paid version um it's owned by mirrors so kind of expected but i do like how they play some like fun cartoons on the thing yeah if you look like these the, these are like old cartoons like maybe they're like i don't know copyright free or something so they can get away with it but no well, either way it's nice some nice air conditioning things over here you have a restroom back there. Not bad. And I know this before. Apparently for the nearest connects, they come to every single resort about every 30 minutes. But you do have to reserve in advance. I don't yeah. know if they come if there's no reservation. Yeah, so something good to note. Very, very nice. And yeah, we're off to the airport right now. Something also I did want to note, there used to be two different services like this. There used to be the Sunshine Flyer and there used to be the Mirrors Connect. Those two companies have pretty much like merged. So now essentially this is Mirrors Connect driven by Sunshine Flyer. So um, Sunshine Flyer does not exist anymore. This is purely, um, as, at least the only one I know of that you can get to the airport on right now. Mm -hmm. So it works pretty good. Maybe I'm just so used to the Magical Express, but I didn't realize apparently they come to like other resorts in the area too. Well, this is technically, I think, still Disney property. Yeah. This is the Marriott Metro Center. But so like, still like on the Magical Express, it would only come to like yeah. all the Disney owned ones. But this is pretty interesting. I guess they come a lot of different places. I would check their website if you are staying anywhere that might not even be a Disney resort. You never know, they might be able to do it. I'll also say they mentioned on the screen they were talking about SeaWorld, so I don't know if they go to SeaWorld yeah. resorts. Who knows? Welcome aboard Mirrors Connect to the Orlando International Airport. My name is Cecil. I will be your driver. Please keep in mind you are still on vacation. It should take us about 40 minutes to reach the Orlando International Airport. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your ride. So one thing I really liked about the Sunshine Flyer, like every single bus looked like a different, like a train mm -hmm. or like a different form of transportation. But um, this one on the Mirrors Connect, like each one has a different like animal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was kind of fun. They went on the thing and told us like facts about all the animals and like what parks you can find those animals. So it's pretty cool. We have some fun entertainment. A lot of this stuff is just like, it's either like cartoons or like promotional stuff for different attractions in the area. But overall, there's our turtle. Nice guy. All right, well, really is that easy. You can see over here to our left, this is the airport itself. You can see Matt's getting ready. Yeah. That was pretty good, that wasn't bad. Yeah, that's yeah. a quick ride. Pretty quick ride. Comfortable. And some cartoons are playing, but we're gonna get off, we're gonna get our bags, and then we're just gonna figure out what we do next. You're welcome, have a good day. Thanks. Thank you. We came up here to check our bags and get checked in. And these machines they have are actually pretty nifty. They have a scale right there. So you just weigh your own luggage and then it'll print out a tag for you. You put it on your luggage and then you go to one of those machines back there, put it on the conveyor belt and you're done. So I feel like normally there's a pretty long line to check bags, but this cuts it down quite a bit. This is nice. All right, well, it's finally happening. We made it to the airport. Yeah. We actually checked in. We got our luggage. We got everything all figured out. And we're, Matt's hungry, I'm so he needs food. food. Yeah, but we yeah. also found the traveler here. Oh. The statue of this guy. I, I always, I thought it was a real yeah, person. Yeah, I thought it was just a real person that just I mean, lays in there like all It day. looks like a real person. Oh. Used with oil. 1985. I don't know, I think it looks real. Like, that looks like somebody. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not. Okay. Well, either way, this is our confirmation that we have made it here to the airport. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Matt's going to look for some food, and I think we'll just, after we'll just head over to our flight. There's not a huge variety of, like, different restaurants here before you get to your actual terminal. But they just have, like, standard things like McDonald's. They have a Panda Express. They have a Chick-fil-A. Um, all kinds of just, like, simple, like, fast food style restaurants. Seems like Matt's as indecisive as ever, so... We'll see if he actually gets anything. I like there's also a Carville ice cream too. We used to have one of those oh, in Ohio yeah. and it closed. So good ice cream. the ice cream is good. Their cakes are good. Looks like Matt's getting desperate yeah, going for Panda Express. I think I'm going to. Yeah. I, I think their food is normally pretty good, but their portions are kind of small. So yeah. I was kind of hesitant, but I'm just gonna go with I it. I like how they have like a plush 
Oh, yeah. Of the oh, panda. panda. So we ended up getting our Panda Express. Yeah. What do you think? Yours looks pretty good. Yeah. So Goo just got the bowl. I wasn't. Which just includes a side. I didn't want to have too much. Yeah. So. A, a side and one entree. Yeah. So some orange chicken. And then I got the plate, yeah. which includes a side and two entrees. So and then they have a bigger plate, which includes three. As we said, like not culinary excellence, but at least we got some food mm -hmm. to fuel us throughout the day. Our flight has actually been delayed slightly. Yeah. But we had a um, layover anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. Yeah. Hopefully, unless anything else happens. But um, so far so good. I think we're gonna eat this really quick, then explore the airport, get ready for the flight, and then we'll be off to California. Yeah. Well, I'm a very forgetful dude. I don't have pre-check or anything. So going through security means I will have to take my shoes off. Whatever reason, I chose probably the worst possible shoe choice. I have Crocs here with no socks whatsoever. So I don't wanna walk barefoot. So I stopped over here in the Disney store and they do actually have some socks. So if anyone does run into an issue like this and you do wanna Make sure you have your socks or everything. These are pretty cool. They're fourteen dollars each if you buy two or sixteen ninety nine. Oh, I got your socks. Yeah, you got some with goofy on them. <laughs> I will say they do all discounts here. Yeah, pass yeah. holder, DVC, yeah, all of it. They do have stores for Universal, Disney, and Sea World, mm -hmm. and they have pretty much like I mean all like the main merchandise that they have out. They usually keep in here. So if you're looking for something really specific, you probably won't find it, but. Pretty much everything else. Oh, there, there they are. <laughs> That's fun. I look. This is like a giant screen in here. That's pretty cool. This is pretty cool too. Over here, they actually have like a engraved tag machine. Oh yeah. Oh look, they have planes. They have some pretty cool Remember ones. Remember planes? Like a lot of planes ones. <laughs> yeah. So you could um, I guess you could customize it and say, oh, going on my flight. Mm-hmm. Wait. Oh, okay. Goo. There you go, a masterpiece. Well, yeah, the, the things to do in this airport are limitless. So if you're here early or if your flight gets delayed, there's a lot to do around here, which is pretty cool. Also, here's a look at the Universal store. I love that they have like like photo ops of all the different things. You have the minions over there. I wonder if they'll like update these for the Epic Universe when that, that comes. Be cool. yeah. That'd be pretty cool. But I think at this point, we have done all our exploring, we've done all our excitement, and I think we're gonna go through security and head over to our flight, so. We still have another yeah. two hours, but yeah. we'll, we'll head over there. Yeah, we'll get ready, we'll get on our flight, and then we'll see what else we do. Okay, so we made it to our, our gate here today. What do you think? I'm excited, we're yeah. gonna get on. I think it's like two hours and 58 minutes to Dallas. Yeah. And then we have a couple hours there, and then another three hours to LAX. Yep. So. Yeah, bad. So I don't know. We're probably just gonna go on. We don't have like a view of anything So yeah. I think we're just gonna cut to our next place So from here we will see you guys over at Dallas and then afterwards we'll be over at California yep. Well, we just got off our flight. That wasn't bad. Yeah, um, it, was, it was about like two hours or something yeah. The next one's gonna be yeah. I think about three. Yeah, but so. then we'll be in California so. But I just realized um, we're not getting in until really late. Yeah, so we might try and get some food really quick before even though we kind of just stayed in the video, but that was a long time ago and really time mm. so um i don't know we'll kind of look around maybe we can find a cowboy hat oh that'll be fun. that'll be fun um we'll just see what else we get into here today there's lots of um really fun things i'm just seeing looking around so we'll see what we run into someone told me while we're in dallas we have to try to find some barbecue so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna try to find some texas barbecue and the portion better be as big as texas too because i'm hungry all right we decided since it's gonna be pretty late when we land we're gonna get some food now so we found this place sunny brian's smokehouse and it looks yeah. pretty good it smells good you want to try some of it i'm gonna try it yeah this is chicken you've got pulled chicken they and gave sausage. Me extra barbecue sauce that's good barbecue sauce is very good awesome unfortunately we don't have a whole lot of time to explore this airport so i'm glad we got to get some food in here tonight mm -hmm. but i think from here we're gonna head over to our gate and then i guess we'll finally make it to california which will be awesome it's always fun to like come to different airports at different cities because you kind of get like a lot of like different things from those cities. Sometimes they're a little bit more like touristy versions, but you can see right here, you have the Texas Marketplace. Let's see if we can zoom in. They have cowboy hats. They have a neck pillow with um, the Texas flag on it. So this is pretty cool. Like this is fun. You kind of get a little bit of the experience, although it is kind of more like a touristy version of what Texas is really like, but nonetheless, very cool. All right, time to get on to our next plane. You can tell, you can see Matt's very excited. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited yeah. to get there already. <laughs> well, you have another three hours, so we'll see how this goes. But other than that, we will see you guys over in California. That's the next time you'll see us. We're just gonna come from here to California and then we'll get over to our hotel. Here we 
are. We have officially made it to our hotel it. here it's at the been Grand a Californian. Day of traveling. What's it been like? 14 hours, I think. Pretty much. Yeah. I, I'm so happy to be here. This yeah. is one of my favorite Disney resorts. And ever. they have this in the lobby for the D23 oh. event that we're here for. There's Mickey. Uh, it's uh, nice. This is so this is awesome. They're actually gonna have some special snacks as well. Yeah. So we'll have to try to get those. We're gonna have to do all our research tonight. And also right now it is currently 11:30. Yeah. If we were in a, if we were in Florida, it would be like almost 3 a.m. Yeah. So I'm like half asleep at yeah. this point. So our room is ready. I think we're gonna go up to our room, get settled. I think we'll probably wrap up for the day. But it's been great. We traveled. We made it. Very exciting. I can't believe this, this is yeah. awesome. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. Oh gosh, we didn't have a couch last time. Oh, it's nice. The couch, I think, turns into a bed. Oh, okay. Hold on. We'll get settled and we'll kind of show everything. There's, what's happening? <laughs> Dreaming is what we do best. Thank you for sharing in our dream. Enjoy with compliments. Oh, look at this. This is, what does it say? Is actually grand? It, yeah, grand. It's grand. Is it Grand California? It is, yeah. Have a grand stay. Oh, says. gosh. Look, they have in-room dining. <laughs> this is crazy. Ever since we stayed here like three years ago. Yeah. And um, that was kind of when um, I think that was, was that when things were kind of still coming back? Yeah, things were yeah. still happening. So, yeah, let's let's get set a little bit. We'll show you around a little bit. And then afterwards, we'll see what we get into. Just, just in general, what's going on here. You have two queen beds. You have this thing, which I think does turn into a sofa bed, which is pretty nice. I just love the art in here. It's like orange groves and all like the orange stuff, all the classic California. Oh, there's Dale. I love, I love this thing with like the orange trees and mm -hmm. the Dale getting the oranges. There's Chip. But um, yeah, this is awesome. We've just been having a day of traveling. This is kind of the reward for our day. This will open. We do have a balcony out here too. I'd, Oh, it's That's so nice. it's so nice to step outside and not feel humidity. Uh, but this is awesome, like a courtyard view, I guess you'd call it. But overall, very very nice. That being said, we've had a great day. We enjoyed our traveling. We stay at the beach club. We've done a lot in the past couple hours, so we appreciate you all coming along. That being said, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit the like button. We have a full series of D23 things coming up, so make sure you guys do stay tuned for that. Yeah. That being said, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. But thank you all so much for coming along. And as usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. And you're you. And we both wish a good each and every one of you. Hopefully you have a good rest of your day, everyone. We will see you guys later. Have a great night, everyone.